What would it mean to discover a literal message coded into the DNA of life itself? We've been conditioned to believe that we are separate from everything in our world and that we are essentially powerless victims of the conditions and circumstances of our world. And for this reason, it becomes very difficult often for us to make the changes that we would like to see in our lives, for us to translate our heart's desire for change into the physical reality of our world because the belief is so strong that we are powerless to do anything about those conditions. If I walk a mile in your shoes, I get to know you. And if you walk a mile in my shoes, well, you get to know me. And then you can have empathy for each other. The average individual has a different mindset. It's not interest in, in, in the good. It's either mere curiosity, or it's inquisitiveness, or it's scrutinizing, which are mindsets that inhibit you from seeing reality. But if you're really interested in seeing, and you're looking for it, it shows up everywhere. Only about 5%, and not more than that, of our life is from our personal wishes and our desires and what we want. 95% of our life comes from the programs in the subconscious mind. The law of attraction basically states that what you think about, fantasize about, worry about, talk about, watch on TV, listen to on the radio, whatever you give your attention to, and especially if you feel strongly about it, you're gonna attract more of that into your life. What I invite the world to do, and this is my job, to invite the world to question the thoughts they're thinking, to question what I call the underworld, to question those stressful thoughts that override the thoughts that come out of the kindest parts of our minds, and I call it our true nature.